I'd gone away from the moniker Jimmy Swag because I felt like I had gotten too dark. I was at the moment Jimmy Villa. That's what I was going to perform under, which to me now sounds fucking weird, which I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I feel like names are everything. Even before I knew what marketing was, what marketing meant or brand name meant, when I looked at artists that I grew up looking at, like Michael Jackson, like Guns N' Roses, P.O.D., all these different bands from all sorts of genres, it always represented exactly who they were, the name. When I became an artist myself, even before when I was in a band, I was always searching for that. I was always searching for something to really identify that I could really express myself with be without being self-conscious, without thinking of what other people think, of what Augie or this other person is or used to be. The moment that I could put on a name, that I could create that persona, that I could really feel like I could express myself fully. It's been trial and error to find what felt natural to me. And that's really what happened with Jimmy Swag. I didn't set out to be that. I actually wrote a song about that first. It ended up kind of taking on a life of its own that really gave me courage, the freedom to express myself artistically. Does the name come first and then it's just a matter of like discovering that name or is it like who you are comes first? I don't know how it is for anyone else. For me, I was searching for that name because I felt like there was something inside and a lot of insecurities. I was searching for a name that allowed me to that freedom. I felt like I was forcing it a lot of times as well. It didn't feel right as I kept going along. I, I didn't start this journey off to be a solo artist. That name, it's like it was the key to my door to open and just to say, this is what I want to express myself artistically, singing wise, look wise, attitude wise, all of the things that I, I already had inside. With this name and this attitude, it truly was the key to open that door for me. So would you say you feel more natural now or more comfortable? than you did before. I definitely feel more natural three years later than when I first started this. I felt very egotistical. I felt very arrogant. It was a lot of internal fighting. Like, is this right? Am I being an asshole? There was a lot of internal conflict for a while. Eventually, where we're at today, I do feel peace about it. And realizing what that that name really is me. It is me. Jimmy Swag is me. It, it, it is a part of me. Having that light bulb, light bulb moment of like, okay, I don't have to explain myself to anyone. I don't have to search anywhere else. This is me. So let me explore that side of myself more to just to be able to fully express myself with my music and artistically. It's been a process of that. So if we go back to teenage Jimmy Swag, mm -hmm. do you think he would be shocked and appalled at what you are doing now or, or, would, it, or would it be like, yeah, that, that makes sense? I've thought about this question a lot. I would actually be excited, dumbfounded, shocked in a great way because all of these things that I feel like I'm manifesting within myself physically and musically and artistically are all things that since I was a kid, I desired, always wanted to be a rock star. I always wanted to be confident. I always wanted to captivate an audience. So that 15 year old would be losing his mind and excitement. And I remind myself of that a lot these days because sometimes I think the, the older we get, we can get jaded. There's a lot of heartbreaks. There's a lot of failures and there's a lot of, it's not for the faint of heart, as they say. You know, I have a lot of goals. I have a lot of things that I'm, I'm working for. Currently where I'm at today, right now, that 15 year old kid would be super excited. 